Good afternoon. Our first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection, and our time for reflection leader today is the Reverend Joan Lyon, priest at St Ninian's Scottish Episcopal Church, Aberdeen, and Episcopal Chaplain to the Aberdeen <coughs> Hospitals. Presiding officer, members of the Scottish Parliament, thank you for this opportunity to speak to you today. One particular Easter moment stood out for me this year when a young boy of five told me earnestly that Jesus died on a hot cross bun. It's not surprising that there is a level of confusion and mystery surrounding the Easter story. That, after all, was the initial reaction of Jesus' disciples. But there was obviously some connection in this child's mind between the cross which he saw on the bun and the story he had heard about Jesus earlier in the school assembly. What stayed in his mind was but a small snippet of a much wider and deeper narrative. Isn't that so often the case? In your experience, as those who represent the people of this country, and certainly in mine as an Episcopal priest, we hear many conversations, listen to many stories, and sometimes we have to move on, sometimes too quickly, to the next conversation or the next task. But like the small boy and his hot cross bun, there is always more than meets the eye. There is always the other side of the conversation, perhaps even many sides, often unheard, frequently ignored or discounted. We don't take time to hear the whole story, to ask the open question, to allow space for the person talking to actually hear their own story in a new way. When we read the Gospels, we see Jesus listening in this positive way taking time to engage with people so that each conversation makes a difference. The way of Jesus is a way of paying attention to people's individual stories and at the same time, helping them to be part of the wider narrative of God, that longing for all nations to actively pursue justice, mercy and equality. Every conversation counts. So in today's time for reflection, I'd like to encourage real conversations and perhaps more than just four minutes reflection time. As in the coming week, you or weeks to come, you seek to engage the nation with your story, your vision, your view of the future. When we listen for the whole story, there is always more. There's so much more than just enjoying the taste of a good hot cross bun. The best stories, the clearest vision, and the most positive view of the future arise out of good conversations and the deeper reflection which follow them. Thank you for your attention. <laughs> 